What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Shang-Chi movie, Mr. Hyde Build-A-Figure Waves Shang-Chi. If you're trying to pick up your Marvel Legends, you can do so at Big, Big, Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And while you're down there, I ask you to please hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And I want to get into our new segment called Why I Give a Shart. So why do I give a shart about Shang-Chi? Shang Chi. I haven't read a lot of comic books with Shang Chi in them, but I know he is a kung fu master, and I know there's a lot of cool stuff to see in this film just based off of the trailer already. So for me personally, that's enough to get excited for this character and this movie. And I gotta give a big thanks to Justine for finding this way for me out in the wild. Really appreciate it. I'm trying to pick up some badass dios. Check out Shop X Many 87. Link in the description below. Nice looking figure so far. On the side right here, you can see we have a nice image of Shang Chi, and then on the back, you can see shang chi again and then there's a read up over here in multiple languages if you want to read it go ahead and pause it right now there's the other figures from the wave then we have shang chi right over here i say shang chi maybe you want to say shang chi my brutal american accent is pronouncing it as shang chi uh, then we get this nice spot varnish logo on the top not much more at the bottom so let's get to it and crack this thing open <laughs> Here's Shang-Chi out of the packaging, not looking bad. I will discuss things that I like about the figure as well as things that I do not like, but first let's get a closer look at the accessories. So the biggest letdown for me with this figure is the accessories. Now, first off, he has his bow staff right over here, or staff, I'm used to seeing Shang-Chi with nunchucks, but I don't know that much about the character and we do see this in the trailer, so hey, cool, he has a staff, but he has these three interchangeable hands right over here and no fists. That's driving me nuts, dude. How do you have the Kung Fu character with no fists on the packaging? He's got the fists in the trailer. He's got the fists to punching people, but not one of these is a set of fisted hands. And then I don't know what's up with these hands right over here. Smell my finger hands, right? They look like smell my finger hands. They could be, no? Meditative hands, right? It, I don't know. I always thought it was kind of more like that, more than like the politician thumb kind of thing. I don't know. Please let me know. I haven't seen anybody else's review on this Figure, so this is just tripping me the hell out. I'm like, what is this? I guess meditative hands, right? I don't want them to be chopstick holding hands. These hands, I love these hands. These are dope. And then of course he has his weapon holding hands. So these are all fine. And then the staff actually does look pretty good. I do like the brown wrap right over here. And you get this nice metallic. I mean, it's not that metallic looking, but it does have a little bit of a, you know, reflective sheen right there for that gray plastic. <laughs> Now looking at one of the best qualities of this figure, I think Hasbro just nailed this head sculpt. It really looks like Simu Liu to me. I think they did a really good job with it. I really like how the eyes came out over here. I mean, just the sculpt throughout, it just looks very, very impressive, man. The photoreal tech right here is just phenomenal. Getting a profile shot right there looks pretty clean. They even captured that mole right by his eye. Looking very good. And here's the back of the head. Hair's all parted, looking really nice. I really like how this suit came out and everything. I mean, this is really neat with all this texturing going on. And I'm really impressed by how these fine lines are all painted very accurately with the black. I mean, that is just really good paint applications right over there. That is sweet. Looking really cool right over here on the side. Here's looking at the back, not so much uh, paint or anything, a little bit, I guess. But there's some lines on the front that don't have those lines on there too. So, you know, it comes in and out. I do like when you move the abs all the way back, you can see the paint and texturing going all the way through and the forearms look really good right over there. There are some hands where I poured them on and I feel like there's too much of a gap. So I kind of wish that the, the flesh came down a little bit more, but I do like that you could see a really good muscle definition in those forearms. I got a little bit of a rip right over here from moving the legs around a lot. Uh, the pants look pretty good. You know, can't really complain too much about these. I can see uh, some pin shapes coming through a little bit. So it looks like the way the tech works is that it's kind of like half molded with the pin going through and then they apply more plastic to cover it up. I'm, I don't really know, but I thought that was kind of fascinating that I could see those pins kind of showing up just a little bit on the inside of the legs, not so much on the outside of the legs. Really nice texturing though. I like all the wrinkles and everything. The shoes look great. You can see the laces and everything. 
nice white paint and everything on these sneakers and he has peg holes and serial numbers at the bottom of the feet and we've seen these sneakers before on the Danny Rand Netflix figure so these sneakers are just perfect for kung fu not much to complain about with articulation we do not get a disc hinge in the neck however you can move the head up pretty far so I do like that and you can move it downward a little bit of gappage when you do move it down that much you get side to side motion a little bit of gappage over there oh man and you do get head pivoting but to be honest with you that gappage it didn't really bother me so much when I was taking pictures so it's there but I don't know if you angle it right it won't be an issue anyway you can move the shoulders all the way outward for the T pose you can get the shoulders moving all the way in no butterfly joints though even though I do feel a little bit of shifting forward and back but it's not a full-on butterfly joint maybe like a mini butterfly joint whatever anyway bicep swivel double jointed elbows wish we had red pins right over here for these top bicep pieces that bothers me and then all the hands turn side to side and they do hinge up and down great ab crunch forward looks a little bit weird sometimes but for the most part it's not so bad moves back very far waist cut right there and then we get the hips that move outward that much he can kick forward and back upper thigh cut double jointed knees no ankle side to side but you can move the ankles down and you can move Move them up and you get beautiful ankle pivot now to measure out this shang chi figure you can see that he is standing right at the six and a half inch mark and then to compare shang chi next to my only other shang chi movie figure we have the target exclusive yay katie and yeah these two look like they have some pretty good height differences i mean we don't see katie like this at all in the trailer and there's like the one shot where we see shang chi like this holding the bow staff so i feel like there's i don't know we may not see these characters with the attire that we're seeing right over here for very long in the film like, they may barely ever look like this in the movie. Who knows? So while I'm not terribly familiar with Shang-Chi, I have not read a lot of comics with Shang-Chi in him, but I do know that he trained Spider-Man, so I did want to bust out my customized MCU Far From Home Spidey over here, and I do think they share some of the same villains, so I want to bust out my Netflix Daredevil. Oh, and I almost forgot the Kung Fu comparison of Shang-Chi next to Iron Fist, and again, you can see they have the same footsies. And then to compare Shang-Chi next to some relevant comic characters, we have a Hand Ninja and the Build-A-Figure Man-Thing. And then for your Shang-Chi comparison, we have our movie version next to the comic version right over here. The have the red themes right over here i wonder if we're gonna see this guy kind of with you know the shirtless look and everything sure all the man chest lovers are gonna love that ones and then here's shang chi next to your average six inch scale figure we have the marvel legends big time letdown spider-man hey master hey you got your own movie right yeah i've got my own movie high finger ah! So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hook it up with a like. And if you're new here, hook it up with that subscribe button as well as a notification bell. And if you're old here, you may be interested in supporting this content via the Tron or membership. If you're interested, link down below. And big thanks to all these people over here that support this content. This figure is fun, but I have problems with it. <clears throat> the lack of fisted hands. Oh my god. God, that one just blows my mind. I, I'm like, I have both hands on my face right now. I just can't understand how that happened. Um, you know, I guess we have, you know, those meditation hands, which is kind of neat, but whatever, dude. I wish he had fisted hands. That, that just blows my mind that the figure does not have fisted hands. Uh, but other than that, I love the head sculpt. I like the sculpt throughout the figure. The, the articulation is pretty good and stuff. So, you know, aside from that, it's pretty sweet looking. Can't wait to see the movie. Hopefully he looks like this throughout the majority of the movie or else we're going to have to wait for like, a, you know Shang Chi Katie two pack where they look like how they're actually going to look in the film because none of us really know so I don't know man still had a lot of fun with the figure not a bad piece I just really want to see the movie and then I'll know how much I really like the figure until after I see the film so at this point in time at the price point of around twenty five bucks I'm gonna give this Shang Chi figure a sun rating of it's not so bad and I'd like to know what you guys think so please let me know in the comment section below if you want to see the latest in Marvel news and a photo gallery of images you can find it over at marvelousnews.com and if you want to stay in touch with me via social media you can find me on instagram twitter and twitch and i will catch you guys later peace Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.